Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this series of videos of Acumatica 2022 R2, we're going to talk about new dashboards. So if you've seen our videos before, you see we play around with a lot of dashboards. There's a lot you can do with dashboards in terms of creation, which is the general intent behind a lot of these videos, being able to do what you need to do. In this video, we're going to talk about Acumatica shipping dashboards that are pre-built for inventory purposes. So you can see here, if you go to your dashboards workspace and you're upgraded to Acumatica 2022 R2, you can see the first one is Sales Manager. So that shows a number of widgets. Of course, at the top of the screen, you have the ability to set parameters. So if you have multiple branches like we do in the sales demo, you can select the one you want and it'll filter accordingly. But over here, we can see the open quotes. Keep in mind, this is not CRM quotes. This is sales order quote type, QT order type all the number of orders that you have, orders pending approval, if you have approvals turned on, orders awaiting payments, which is great. If you're waiting for payment, this has been a widely requested feature. You turn on Acumatica, you have a payment term that requires a payment and we're waiting for it. That's what this'll do. Orders awaiting purchases. So I have a sales order and there's a link to a purchase order but we haven't quite created the purchase order yet. You'll see that here. This will show late orders, orders that are past their requested date for customers. Invoices that are tied to an order that are awaiting payments. You can see those here. Again, you can drill down into any of these widgets to get the actual data and overdue invoices. Additionally, Acumatica shows profitability, trends, new customers created, completed orders. So you can see all of these things, overall statistics, net sales. And of course, you can click design and make changes and make these dashboards what you want them to be. Moving on though, we can see a dashboard specific for purchasing managers. You got the parameter at the top. These are the number of open purchase orders, ones that need to be approved any rejected purchase orders. In Acumatica, several versions ago, a couple of years, two, three years ago, the approvals now have a rejected and a rejected status. See those. Any late purchase orders. So this signifies purchase orders with a promise date that has expired. See that here. Orders awaiting bills. So I've received it, but I haven't quite gotten the bill yet and tied them together. So you'll see that here, this is pending. Of course, that shows up in our balance sheet as well. Sales awaiting purchases, purchase trends quarters, and total payments that go back to the vendor. And if we click here, you can drill in and see for the go-to vendor, these are the total payments. That's a throw in, but you can change this to certain vendors if you want, or accumulate that for a vendor group, vendor class. Click on design and you hit the edit button here. You can see there's a shared filter. So you can use that shared filter or you can go to filter settings and you can see that it's specifying AA vendor, but you could change this. If you want to, you could say, well, I don't care about the specific vendor. Maybe I care about the vendor class or maybe I want to add, it could be or this vendor or that vendor. You can add as many fields here as you want. And then now you have a vendor group that you need to put payments out to. So you got that as well. And you have all these quarterly sales. Again, our demo data doesn't have a lot of activity in it, but you can continue to use these widgets or modify them and make them a little bit more practical for you. Go back to dashboards. We have a warehouse manager. And some of these dashboards you may be familiar with in our sales demo data, but Implementing live, you may not see these dashboards. Now they ship and they should be with you as soon as you upgrade to 2022 R2. So that's our warehouse manager, orders to ship, pending transfers. Orders to ship, you may instead use through your normal workflow of process orders. You can create your shipments and print your pick lists that way. 
but this can be helpful as well. And receiving and today's statistics, you go back and you have a receiving clerk and a shipping clerk. So that's showing shipments for today, anything that's late, total number of shipments today. You may also break this down, create your own widget and see which individuals ship the most. Maybe you have multiple pickers and packers and shippers and you can run a little contest here on a widget. And lastly, I skipped over it, but receiving clerk. So these are the number of receipts I'm expecting today. Any returns that are incoming for RMAs. How much you received today. How much you actually received today and any late purchase orders. Any transfers that you're waiting on, maybe warehouse to warehouse, two-step transfer. And you can filter by warehouse if you'd like to. So that's it. That's dashboard. So that's it. That's inventory warehouse dashboards. So that's it. That's a new set of inventory dashboards that now ship with Acumatica 2022 R2. And if you like this, please click the like button. If you have any other questions about Acumatica, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.